So remember that the domain controller is the server that users are going to be using to authenticate to the directory service. Uh, and so when you create an Active Directory, Azure sets one up for you, but there's some cases where you might wanna set one up yourself. And the reason why is that you could be like an, on, uh, like an enterprise where you already have your own Active Directory on premise, but you've decided that you wanna move it over to uh, Azure AD uh, because you just want a fully managed Active Directory and uh, you wanna tap into the cloud. But uh, the thing is, is that some domain services, those are features on your domain controller, just might not be available. And that's where you're gonna need to set up your own domain controller. And that's where Azure Active Directory domain services uh, come into play because these provide managed domain services. And so they have managed domain services such as domain joins, uh, group policies, uh, LDAPs, uh, uh, <laughs> curb, BROS, I never can say that properly, NTLM authentication. And so the great thing is here is you can have these domain services, but you're not gonna have to deploy them, manage them, patch them. They're just gonna work. So there you go.